you already know LDBC. So Bronny James is about to have the highest selling jersey. Shout out to the brother Two Rossing. He made a video about this. But I'm looking at this article from SI.com that says Lakers Bronny James expected to overtake LeBron as top selling jersey. Now um, it goes to show in this article that it says in a recent study done by Fadeaway World, it showed Bronny has overtaken his dad LeBron in terms of the most searched and likely purchased NBA jersey. The study analyzed Google keyword searches based on players jersey since 2014 the more search a jersey was indicated that it is likely that it that it generated the most sales as well uh, it also gives any li little bit more analytical data analytical data that says the lakers most popular search jersey was uh revealed to be that of Bronny james which received an average of 36,847 searches per month in the u.s and that and this puts his father lebron in the second place going into his 22nd season while NBA rookie Bronny ranks top, ranks at the top. And I'll leave a link to the article uh, as well in the description. Hopefully YouTube keeps it in there. So let, let me let me say this. I don't want to hear anybody talk about, stop talking about Bronny. You hating on the kid, this, that, the third. Even though I want to see Bronny succeed. But I said this before and I'm going to say this again. So he has the top jersey. You don't see LeBron talking about I'm getting off social media because he's getting too much attention about jersey. You don't see other people coming out and saying, oh why 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 y'all searching for this kid's jersey but clearly Bronny was rushed into the nba he should have been a three four maybe even five year player in college and he i'm sure he could have been a nice nba player and when we criticize him people like me and a lot of y'all we're we're they try to the they try to guilt trip us but then you want to tell us oh he has the best selling jersey okay well since he has the best selling jersey per fadeaway world or search jersey then clearly he's one of the most popular athletes well if he's one of the most popular athletes then why we can't talk about it why we can't talk about his game if bleach report does a clip of him getting a steal and that's it why we can't talk about how he went 0 from 8 from the floor and had five turnovers and you know and, and in the g league and it, it's just funny and i'm gonna keep saying this it's funny how we live in a society where you want to be praised, but you can't be criticized at all. You know, and and I seen Charles Barkley talk about how the Lakers poorly did LeBron. I seen Stephen A. finally come out and say how all of this is really of LeBron James doing, and, and and I totally agree, man. Like you caused this on yourself, bro. It is what it is. I'm sorry you did. And guess what? He can have a top, the highest rated jersey. I don't care. He can be all these commercials. I don't care. But, but when he get out there and he don't score, he hasn't hit a three at all this season. He act like he he's playing like Ben Simmons when it comes to that. And and and, and he's he's clearly a fish out of water. And not only the NBA, but the G League. Then cool, let's talk about it. We ain't talking about his character. We ain't talking about who he dating. At least I don't. I don't care who he's dating. I don't care what his character is. A lot of us don't. We don't care about none of that. We talking about on the basketball court. And on the basketball court, Bronny isn't where he needs to be, but clearly he has the fame and the popularity to have one of the most highest selling slash search jerseys. Cool. But don't, 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 don't collect the, like, you don't see, you don't see LeBron and Bronny saying, you know what, we ain't gonna, we not gonna take the percentage of the jersey sale. We gonna wait till he earn it, this, that, and the third. You don't see them doing that. They got Bronny basically working part time, making a guaranteed two million, what, two, two million dollars a year. That's what, $38,000 a week ish somewhere around there if my if my math doesn't uh i'll top of my head i think it's what 30 so let's just say hypothetically in two weeks he's making way more than the average american household and that's and that's with two working class people working full-time jobs working nine to fives he's on all tv he's on all these commercials all this that and the third but you better not talk about him and and I, and I keep hearing people say well if that was my son well maybe guess what my son plays sports too right he in the room next to me maybe i will feel some kind of way but my son's not a public figure. My son's not making $2 million a year. My son's not in all these endorsements. My son's not, it's not on a commercial with me in 2K. My son's not out there with me, him, Ken Griffey Jr. and Sr. Who were legit baseball players. With legit sport, legit athletes, you know? So it's like, y'all, y'all, uh-uh, man. I'm so, I'm so sick and tired. Like, between this and boxing, honestly, I ain't gonna stop watching sports, never. But I mean, this is the, the, the side that a lot of us, like, what happened to the days where it was just basketball. It was just boxing. It was just, you know, and, and, and salute him again to the brother too, where I seen the NFL. You're absolutely right. He said this in this video. 
they would never do nothing like this. Never. They wouldn't. I'm sorry, they wouldn't. Why? Because the NFL cares about the shield, but because uh, LeBron has such a stronghold on not just the Lakers, but the NBA, they're willing to let this happen. And listen, they all. everybody has something to do with this, right? The NBA, ESPN, they was all in on it to where they created a whole different day just for Bronny. They had to pick. They literally had to pick. Everybody knew Brian would get drafted to the Lakers before they even announced it. If you go back and watch the draft, all of that happened, right? Cool. I supported it. Honestly, I supported it. But now that he's an actual professional now and nobody's going to baby this grown man, which we shouldn't own the basket. Again, we're talking about just the basketball court. Now, me and a lot of y'all are, 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 they try to shame us. You know, they try to guilt trip us. But then at the same time, you want to throw, uh, you want to bring up how he has one of the best best selling jerseys, you know? And listen, let me tell y'all something. I think LeBron, LeBron is probably my favorite millennial player. I watched LeBron's whole career. He's a couple years older than me. So we was in high school together. He made me realize that there was no way I was going to ever go to the NBA. But I don't like the way that this is being handled. And this is showing, honestly, to me, LeBron's side of being a narcissist. And then it's so bad, him and Rich Paul. And listen, I like Rich Paul, too. I got his I got his book and everything, right? You try to uh, take people's channels down and unfollow people because they're critical of a professional athlete. Yet Russell... Uh, Russell Westbrook and all these other people, they can catch all the flag. Don't nobody say nothing. Darvin Ham, all these, all these other people. Nobody says, you know, you don't see LeBron getting on social media. None of that for, for, for any of these people. But, but because we we don't want to act like, like you want us to live in a matrix where we get up and jump up and, and uh, dab each other up or give each other a high five because Bronny scored four points in a game. Like that's supposed to be meaningful for us. And again, this ain't no personal jab towards Bronny because I want to see Bronny succeed. I wish Bronny would have went to Duquesne or is it DeQuince, whatever it's called, uh, where LeBron, one of his best friends is at, you know. Salute to LeBron for putting his friends on. Salute to LeBron for putting Rich Paul on. It ain't about that, man. It's it's about integrity and it's about, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm so sick and tired. And a lot of y'all so sick and tired of us paying our hard earned money that a lot of us have to get off work for just to, for y'all to try to force this down our throat. And cool, if y'all want to force it, cool. But again, since you since y'all signed up for this, you got to be ready for the criticism, you know? So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. And like I said to my detractors, man, don't come on here talking about why you talking about Brian because if, if, if ESPN can talk about it and all these other CBS and Fox and Yahoo and the Wall Street Journal and uh, the New York Times and all of that, then, I can, then we, can, we can talk about it as well, man, amongst ourselves. And again, long as, as long as it ain't no personal attack, I ain't got no problem with it. But yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.